Hi, I'm Jen Browning in Tech Service for BASF. Today we're talking about mixing and making soil applications with Nemesis Beneficial Nematodes. You want to make your nematode applications when the light is low, so early morning and late afternoon are good times for nematode applications. The ideal greenhouse temperatures for making a nematode application are 14 to 30 Celsius or 57 to 86 Fahrenheit. There's no restricted entry interval or RAI for nematode applications, and there's also no required personal protective equipment or PPE. However, if you're mixing nematodes into water that's been treated with fertilizer or other chemicals, we recommend that you wear eye protection and also rubber gloves. Nemesis can be applied by using common application equipment, including tank sprayers, backpack sprayers, and irrigation injection system, including those that work on a boom. Whatever equipment you use, make sure your equipment has been flushed clean and is free of chemical residue. Before you apply the product, make sure that you remove all filters that are 50 mesh or finer from your application equipment and nozzles so the nematodes don't clump up. Keep your pressure below 300 PSI on your equipment, and as internal pressure with piston pumps can exceed 300 PSI, we don't recommend that you use this type of equipment to apply nematodes. The minimum nozzle aperture for Nemesis is 0.5 millimeters. In this greenhouse, we have a dosatron system. For this application, I'm going to prepare a five gallon bucket of clean, cool water. Prior to getting ready to make the application, I've taken the trays out of the refrigerator and brought them up to room temperature. You can use a standard five gallon painter's bucket and you'll need to manually agitate the water. There are also buckets that are available that self-agitate and also aerate the solution. Either option works fine. Start by adding a few inches of water to the bucket and tip the entire contents of your trays into the water to make a slurry. Check your product technical bulletin to determine the rates and how many trays you'll need for your application. This may be a good time to do a viability check using a hand lens, the smartphone microscope, or a dissecting microscope. Next, add in the full amount of water and use the water in the bucket to rinse out the tray. Sometimes nematodes can get stuck to the tray. Once you've opened them, we recommend that you use the entire tray and the solution immediately. We're ready now to make our soil application. For young plants, flowering or finishing plants, we recommend a soil-directed application targeting the media. You want to apply a sufficient volume of water to thoroughly soak the soil or growing media, but not beyond the point where the water overflows or leaches from the pot. For plants with larger canopies, you'd want to make sure that the solution washes off of the canopy and into the soil. Treat the entire greenhouse crop at the appropriate rate to achieve maximum effectiveness. And remember to agitate the nematode suspension during application for even dispersal of nematodes. In propagation areas, treat new plant material as it's introduced to the greenhouse. And remember that Nemesis beneficial nematodes work best when applied preventatively prior to pest populations building up. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out the others in the series.